Hello, welcome to my first tutorial on Demon Engine, my new series. In this series, I'm going to work, use a first step to code and do things in Demon Engine. So the first thing you might want to check out is DemonKeyEngine.com and click on this engine link. So you can see all the the fiat use of the monkey engine and just see if it's good for you. It uses Java, only Java. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download it and install it. So, first of all, you will need NetBeans because the monkey engine uses NetBeans, so you should have it. So, I'm just going to like to need to go to netbeans.org go to it and just click download and it should and if you want to download uh, just for java just click this link or if you want to download it for every language just download it here then just want like java so I'm do going to download the first one and it should download. I'm going to wait for that to start downloading. Which is taking a bit long, which is weird. See? Downloading. Now you want the Gmonkey platform, which you can find at gmonkeyengine.com. Gmonkey like a monkey, an engine, like an engine, dot org. Okay. What is that? That's weird. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, so now you need Oh yeah, you need to, uh, wait. did I download it? No, yes, no, yes. So now you need to download a Gmonkey engine. But you don't find it at gmonkey.org, but instead you find it at gmonkey.com. And you just download this, download Gmonkey free SDK RC2, it's a version that I will be using until the new version. This is all the download leaks for Linux, Mac, and Windows, which is pretty obvious. Just download and download downloading Windows, because as you may or not have already seen, I'm using a Windows 8 computer. So, I'm just going to get back to you when this is finished downloading. Okay. When it is done downloading, it is time to install it. Copy this. Here. No. You don't have to do that, I just want to do it. So you can see where they are. The bin. Oh. it and paste it over here. So this is NetBeans and this is Gmonkey. Oh and before you install either of these, you need to make sure you have the Java SDK, not the G R E Java SDK. So maybe here. Nope. That's the G R E. Maybe here. Yes, here. J D K. You need to make sure you have the Java, the Java Develop, Development Kit, not the GRE. So when you have that, it's time to to start installing. So you need to install Lightning Beans first. So just like everything else you can imagine downloading, just download. Like I said. 
No, I don't want to. Okay, install. And it will install. And basically, it will be the the same kind of install if install of our for Jim Kenny. We'll see when the time is right, and we will be installing Jim Kenny. So until now, set. We yeah, are just going to wait till this is finished. And when it's finished extracting, you can either want or don't want to contribute to the NetBeans project. I check continue contribute because I just want to keep contribute and that won't do a big change. So now you just need to install it. So Timothy SDK, yes, I want to. Like I said, it's, it's almost the same as NetBeans because it uses NetBeans. So, yeah, so yeah, install next install. So, it will be do the same as NetBeans, just extract a lot of files. And I think it's a bit quicker, I'm not completely sure. But it looks Pretty quick compared to Jimon uh need business. So why don't we wait for that? We just wait for it to fi finish. Okay put here nice nice going to put Jimon here automatically and yeah just Wait for it to finish. Seventy. Whoa. Did it just freeze? Oh, yeah. oh no, test the test the tap. It's a big fire. It's normal. Never mind. Eighty percent. It's close to finish. Yes, finish. You can just click finish. And now you can just delete those two files. And you have Jimonkey installed in your computer. Now to make sure Jimonkey actually works, open Jimonkey. It will just open. And when this pop up, you can set it send your workspace to wherever you want on your computer. Basically your workspace is where you save your projects. So me I have a G Monkey Engine workspace here. So set project folder to finish. And this is just documentation on an introduction of to G Monkey Engine which you can read or just follow my tutorials. But I, I, I read some of them and they're good, good read. So, yeah. And then I will. And what you need after is most likely to update it. So yeah, next accept and update. Okay, continue. And this will. And after you need to restart this. Okay, it is restarting. As you may have not seen or may have seen, it is restarting. Okay, restarted. Now let's finish. Let's let's finish the updates. Which there will be. yes, twenty-five. Nice. Okay. Please wait. Okay, I'm just a bit. And this will take some time, so I'm just going to cut the video here and resume when it's finished. Okay. Okay, I've just finished downloading everything, and now I'm going to restart the application.
and it should not be long. There we go, restarting, and then launching. There we go. And to check if you probably you your Gmonkey engine is really installed and working and everything, you can just click create a basic project, click finish. Yeah. Uh just click, right click here, new project, G um G G M E three basic game and just name it whatever you want and click finish. I have it here. So this will just make a white, oh no, a blue cu cube show up in a 3D view. So run it. Yes. And there we go. You made, no, you launched your first GM GME application. Hopefully, or you. You already played a GME game, maybe, maybe not. But this is your first using GME. Actually, colleague and everything. Yeah, creating your own. So, next time I'm going to teach you something I am not sure of yet. So, until next time, bye.